So today I'm going to be showing you the best window settings to improve your FPS, get the highest performance and the lowest input latency. I've tested all of these settings in the most popular games today and I can confidently say these are the only settings that you need to change, no useless settings in this video. So before tweaking any settings I highly highly recommend creating a restore point. So I click this and then type in the restore point, create a restore point right here and then click on create and name anything, so just name it uh, restore for example and then create. This is a really important step because if you mess up any of the settings and mess up your computer you can just restore it. Okay so the first step would be to go to search and then click on uh, storage settings and click on this. Then go to storage sense, click on this. Then uh, check this box to keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary files and apps. This is really important because windows would automatically clean up the temporary files so if you have a lot of built up you can actually save a lot of storage with this and then automatic cleanup so just enable this so it will run storage sense you can do it however you want but for me it's every day to every day save some memory you know and then mm, go to home uh, then go to display this is a really important step uh, go to multiple displays no advanced display and then click on uh, choose a refresh rate and use the high setting that you can so this is a really big one because I've seen a lot of people buy a high refresh rate monitor and they don't see a change well because you didn't change the settings. So yeah, change this. And then go into settings again and then click on uh, gaming, then go to game bar and turn this off. This is really a bad setting because it uses a lot of memory that can otherwise be used for gaming. So just turn this off if you don't uh, use the game bar, but I'm pretty sure no one uses so yeah. Then go back to gaming again, uh, then click on uh, game mode and then optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. So this is a really good uh, uh, setting because in Windows 11 they updated it so when you are running a game it turns off the background app so for example it can use more RAM for your gaming not for like Google or stuff so this really... Okay so another step would be to go back into gaming then game mode then go to graphics Okay, then go to change default graphic settings click on this and then enable all of these three i've tested them all and i can uh, say that these are really good settings because hardware accelerate gpu scheduling it just improves uh, your performance and reduces the latency so this is a big one and then var variable refresh rate it, it can uh, fix like screen tearing and stuff like that and it also fix some micro stutters that you might notice in gaming so if you have the setting uh, not not a lot of people have it but if you have it it's a really good one and then optimize windowed games so if you have like running some windowed games it also improves this quite a lot okay and then go to this uh, uh, right click on task manager then click uh, task manager and then go to start uh, startup apps and just disable some of these that you might not be using so for example i'm not using uh, razor synapse right now so when i click on it I will click on disable to disable it you know uh, so it doesn't start up this also improves your startup time so your pc will actually turn on quite a lot faster and then for example if you have a lot of apps running right here you can just also disable them so for me i don't want to use like R razor central right now so just right click on it and then exit all apps so it will turn it off also you can disable some other things and now if you have a nvidia gpu uh, AMD also has the same thing, but for NVIDIA GPU, make sure to install the new NVIDIA app. I have a video on it, so I will link it down below. Then click on the NVIDIA app. And then this is a really good step to update your driver. This is really important, so make sure to have the latest uh, drivers uh, basically every time you game. So just uh, check on these uh, once in a while to update so there will be an update button right here so you will click update and it will just automatically update the drivers and then in graphic settings you can also mess around with these in some games i've seen it uh, actually improve quite a lot so if you're not sure you can just test it out before a game so for example fortnite i can just click on fortnite and then this game isn't optimized so you can click optimize and it will automatically find the best settings for you but just test this uh, because uh, games vary quite a lot so if it doesn't help you just click revert and it will just uh, turn your default settings back. And head over into the search and type uh, percent uh, temp percent and click on this folder. 
and you will see a lot of temporary files in here. I've, I recently cleaned up mine, but if you see a lot of files, just click on one and then Control A, and then right click and click on delete. Uh, just do this for all current items and then click on skip so it doesn't delete anything that it's using right now but these are useless apps don't they don't actually do anything so just make sure to uninstall everything the last step would be to go to settings then windows update and then just check for updates so because updates uh, they usually fix some known bugs in games and it just makes your system run smoothly so yeah thanks for watching and if you want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe